G'day guys, Pete from Pete's Tools, another beautiful day here in the South Pacific. Wouldn't be dead for quids today. Nine years, there's not much future in being dead anyway, is there? Anyway guys, today what I want to talk to you about is if you want to cut some painted steel with the old plasma cutter. Can your plasma cutter cut painted steel? Anyway guys, there's a couple of little tips and tricks that I've learned over the time. Remember, if you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like or drop me a comment. And let's uh, get into this video, eh? So guys, you want to whack up a bit of steel with paint on it. So they were saying, what are you talking about, Pete? It's a plasma cutter. It can cut through stuff with paint on it. Well, there's a little bit of trick to this. If you have a non-pilot arc plasma cutter, you might have a little bit more issues than if you have a pilot arc plasma cutter. Anyway, guys, I'll get into it and show you the difference. And uh, hopefully it might make a difference if you want to go and buy one of these machines, which one you need. So I use a lot of this steel here, guys, for making little bits and pieces. It's quite thin, you know, one millimeter or something like that. And I get it from the old wash machines and dryers that I find at the tip. And I just strip it out. And you can get nice square sheets of panel out of it. And it, they're all really nicely painted like this. But uh, the only issue that I have with this is that if you're using a uh, non-pilot uh, plasma torch, you're going to have trouble cutting through it. And the same goes for if you're um, repairing your car or something, something like that and, you, and it's got a painted surface on it. Exactly the same principle applies. And uh, I'll show you what the difference is. Now you might be looking at yourself, what the hell is that idiot going on about? Steel, steel, right? Well, anyway, I'll show you. So you get your earth clamp here. I've just got the standard 40 amp plasma cutting machine. Put your earth on here like that. Grab your torch. And uh, let's cut this. It's only thin steel, so we'll just cut through it, eh? Right, that's really working, isn't it, Pete? Can you, can you guys see the spark trying to jump? See that? It's just trying to jump, trying to jump. But it just won't cut it. And the reason that won't cut it is twofold. One is because your earth here is not earthing properly because it is the paint surface and it's got to have a clean metal surface to earth on it. And the second is your tip here has also got to have be touch in contact with the metal. So we'll probably start through there because that's got a, a little chip in the paint there. But this has to contact with bare metal and so does this. It has to contact with bare metal. So what I'll do guys is show you the difference between this torch and a pilot arc torch. This is non-pilot arc, this one here. This is pilot arc here. And I'll just show you the difference. So guys, got my pilot arc torch here. Now I've modified my machine so I can either do uh, non-pilot arc or pilot arc. So if you want to see the video on how to do that, I'll put a look up the top there, I'll put a link up the top there now, or I'll drop some down in the description. So watch the rest of this video, then go and find it. And there's also some other ones in the description I'll put about uh, more in-depth about cutting rusty steel, cutting painted steel, and what you need to do it and how to go about it. Anyway guys, I'll just show you the difference with this. See what I mean? We'll have another go, eh? See that guys? It um, yeah, it cuts really really good. No issue with that whatsoever. And that's because when you pull the trigger, you get a flame coming out of the end of your torch. So let's have another go with this. See that? Easy as. Easy as. Lemon squeezy. Easy peasy, Pete. No worries. So, that's the difference. Pilot arc. Give me a second, guys. I'll change my torch back and I'll do exactly the same thing again. Here we are, guys. Once again, with my non-pilot arc torch. My earth lead here. Put them on exactly the same place. Right, yeah, Pete. Let's cut this. See that isn't happening? See, it's trying to start, but it won't because of the bloody paint. Because of the paint and also rusty steel is exactly the same. So you remember, if you want to do that conversion, have a look at my videos down in the description. And what I'll also do is I've also done a, a video on the uh, on the Vest Pilot Arc Plasma Machine. 
to buy, you know, quite cheap, under 400 bucks. So have a look at them as well, because you can get a, a really good machine for under 400 bucks. Or if you just want one of these, one of the HF start ones, you can get them for about 200, I think, 199 or something, something ridiculous like that. Anyway, so anyway, check those links down below and uh, have a look and see. But anyway, now I'll show you how to cut this plate. So all we have to do is take your earth, earth clamp off. Grab your trusty grinder, grinder spot for your earth clamp to clamp onto, and grinder spot to start where you want to start your plasma cutting from. Once you can start it, it'll burn the paint through and you should be able to keep it going. But uh, first of all, you're going to have to have the earth. Just like that guys, I mean it's not very hard to do, but it's a right pain in the ass if you can't get to where you want a plasma cut. Like if you're working under your car, or you're working upside down, or you're in a caravan or something, and it's covered in paint, and half the time you can't get the grinder in there to start it off. So uh, anyway, grab the old earth clamp again, stick them in there, the bit that you've just ground off, the bit that's nice and shiny. And you also got your shiny piece up here, that you want to start from. So now let's have a go. You can cut through the paint, just like that. Once you get it going, you can continue to cut, and it'll blow the paint off. Just like that. But the other one, you see the other one, push the button, flame comes out, and it will burn the paint off straight away. Doing it with the HF torch, you need to take the paint off before you start. So that's just a little tip for you guys, whether you're using an HF torch or you're using a pilot arc torch like this. Just remember, get the right machine that you want to do for the right job and you won't give yourself any aggravation and all things will be sweet, eh? And remember, if you like my channel, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. And uh, look at those other videos down below there that I've got for you, all about pilot arc and non-pilot arc and cutting rusty steel and cutting all sorts of weird and wonderful crap with the thing. And I'll also put some links down below if you want to buy one of these check machines. Anyway guys, till next time, bye bye.